safety at work is paramount for ourselves, our customers and their staff. So we're taking a risk, a small one. It's better that we do, rather than the driver. We want to know if our bot Vario system meets our high safety expectations. Has the development work paid off? What will happen on impact, without braking, at 50 km per hour? Our shelves, drawers and compartments are fully laden and must keep their contents secure. That's what a professional van racking system does. It prevents the load from becoming a dangerous projectile. Such a threat is very real. Wooden or DIY shelving such as this, which is poorly designed and secured, can hit the driver from behind, representing a potentially fatal hazard. We have to prove that the driver will be safe, even in extreme circumstances. He must feel safe and secure. In any situation, a load must be secure so that it doesn't fly forward. The anchoring points are particularly important. We fasten the upper section using carefully engineered deformable brackets. This is where the initial assessment will be of whether bot equipment passes the test. The anchor points take most of the load. Gas bottles such as these are typical. We use them here as the crash test regulations stipulate that the test load must be 40 kilograms with an acceleration of 20 g. The bottles effectively become 20 times heavier. Obviously, they press hard against the racking system. The total load for the entire racking system is 526 kilograms. The time has come. Just a few more minutes. Then a powerful hydraulic impulse will hit the vehicle head on and throw it backwards several meters. The abrupt backwards acceleration simulates an impact at 50 kilometers per hour. It is realistic down to the last detail. Even the vehicle shell, which remains intact. Slow motion cameras show what happens inside. We are not expecting the impossible, but who knows? The devil's in the detail. A view in the direction of travel. The extreme slow motion camera reveals that the shelf boxes on the left of the picture are crushed from the extent of the impact. Not one of them jumps off the shelf or is thrown around. All the boxes remain in place. The right of the picture also shows something interesting. The energy from the impact contorts the heavily laden drawers, yet the safety locks hold fast. No drawers slide out or come loose from their housing. The view towards the rear the end frame of the same module is now on the left of the picture. The steel panel is visibly distorted. It absorbs the energy from those elements of the load which hit it from inside, just like a crumple zone. Because of this, none of the elements penetrate the steel panel. So far, so good. But what if, despite all this, a part of the shelving system were to come loose, such as this aluminium drop front? Even then, there is no threat to the occupants. Immediately, the aluminium drop front falls to the floor, harmlessly. It was the right decision to make it so light. The crash test successfully confirms it. It's looking good. It's over. We are curious. What other traces has the powerful impact left behind? Everything looks as if nothing happened. Everything is within acceptable limits. Angled brackets are bent. Fastenings are buckled, as expected, but our shelving system withstood the impact. It has been damaged, but everything has stayed in place. There was never any danger to the occupants. We are completely satisfied with the results. As you can see, the heavy load from the bottles was absorbed everywhere by these angled brackets. Here too, with this folding workbench, everything has stayed in place. What is really good is that you can still operate our drawers. Everything is 100%. We are really satisfied. This was one of our regular crash tests. And it was worthwhile because now it's been confirmed that bot vehicle equipment is synonymous with load safety something that we will keep demonstrating.
because the date for the next test has already been set.